Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to all viewers today. There are a few announcements to be made before the competition begins. First of all, this competition is streamed live and for people who miss the original performances, the show will remain on the school's YouTube channel to be viewed at a later date. Next, the live chat is open for warm-hearted, supportive and constructive comments. Thus, please refrain from using inappropriate language or engage in disputes. There's a surprise award for today's competition. It is the Viewer's Choice Award. Please vote for your top picks using the poll and on the description box and you may submit your votes until after the last performances has ended. Lastly, the performances are judged by a panel of judges and the decision of the judges is final. The results will be announced at the end of the show. Please stay tuned to celebrate our winners. Thank you for your cooperation and we hope that you will enjoy the show. We will begin shortly. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very pleasant morning I bid to Honorable Puan Ruslina binti Abdul Aziz, Principal of Tunku Kusha College, and Cik Ahmad bin Bidin, Senior Assistant of Administration, Puan Narizan binti Mamad, Senior Assistant of Students Affairs, and Cik Kamal Matai, Senior Assistant of Co-Curricular Activities, Honorable Panel of Judges, Respected Teachers, Parents and Dear Friends. I am Farah Lidia. And I, Maina, will be your host for today. We warmly welcome all of you to this beautiful event. We assure you that this program shall be full of exuberance and excitement and will create some beautiful memories for us all. It is rightly said, days are not lost when memories are created. For your information, the competition showcases five dramas which explore the theme of identities and relationship and were produced by all five batches at home, virtually without any face-to-face -face meetings. Ladies and gentlemen, do you feel some turbulence around you? Because I do. The heartbeats have gone up and everyone is eager to sink into the depth of fun. Audiences, are you ready for it? Oh, also, don't forget to vote for your top picks for the Viewers' Choice Award. Grab yourself up for the first performance by Freshies 2125 entitled Once Upon a Pandemic. Before that, let's watch the teaser first. Moment to work out. I've studied. Class, today's assignment in COVID 19. Okay, wait, let me tell you guys. I'm sorry, I cannot be safe anymore. Why are there only 15 students here? It ends the meeting angry. God, can you please do not disturb me? My job is going to pay for the bills now. Sarah was taking back the reality when Emily tapped on shoulder. You listen to my story. Without further ado, the freshies bring to you once upon a pandemic. in one Chukwaka are studying diligently and paying attention when Miss Irene is teaching in front of the class. Good morning, students. So today's assignment is to write about occurrence that changed the world. You must not exceed 100 words, and the word limit has to be above 80. So what ideas do you have in mind? The Malaysian Independence Day. Nah, that's boring. How about the fall of Berlin Wall in 1989? Don't you think that's way too tragic? At least I'm not idealist like you. Hey! Okay, class, that's enough. As long as it's a memorable event, you can write about it, okay? You may begin writing now. All right, Miss Irene. All right, Miss Irene. All right, Miss Irene. Mm, this assignment is quite difficult. Any ideas? I think I'm gonna do it about Apollo 11. It's really interesting and cool. I want to write about the atomic bomb that dropped in, on Hiroshima in August 1945. It was truly tragic. That's nice. How about you, Diana? I don't really have any ideas right now. Sarah, you should tell us what you're going to write about. I haven't really got anything in mind. 
That's why I'm asking the three of you about it. How about World War II? Or maybe the pandemic that happened in 2019? Oh, COVID-19? I remember reading an article about it. It was terrible, wasn't it? Of course it was. My mother told me that kids back then had to learn online to avoid the spreading risk of the virus. Oh wow, it must be fun though. What? What's so fun about having a global pandemic, huh? <laughs> okay, wait. Let me tell you guys about what really happened during the pandemic. As Shiro began talking all about the pandemic, Sarah started recording a moment from years back. The story very similar to Shell's by her beloved grandmother. COVID-19 has also impacted the closure of schools all over the world. Online classes are the new normal in education during the pandemic, and teachers have to go beyond the regular teaching practices. Teachers are now facing new platforms for spending hours researching on training material to recording sessions. I should do some quizzes and games. If not, please stay up late night to prepare the materials she can use in the next class. Why are there only 15 students here? Where are the others? I guess they are still sleeping. Mm, never mind. We will continue without them. Miss Malati was a little disappointed, but she decided to carry on with class since she had already prepared the study materials. Okay, class. Thank you for joining and don't forget to do your homework, yeah? I'll check them tomorrow. Happy lunch. Thank, Thank you, Miss Melati. Thank you, Miss Melati. Next, the next day during Miss Melati's class, roughly only 10 people joined her class. Um, wait, only 10 of you guys joined? Where are your friends? Did they inform you anything? The meeting was so quiet, no one responded to Miss Melati. The 10 people who joined the meeting were silent, which made Miss Melati lose her patience. Hello? Is there anyone here? Am I talking to the wall? I guess so. Never mind, guys. We'll continue tomorrow. Miss Melati ends the meeting angrily. She was downcast with how the students were behaving. She did not expect it. They would turn into this. At the same time, she can't blame the students as the online classes are a tough start for them. Later, students of class 5 William felt guilty for their wrong ways. They know they should have responded earlier, but they are scared that Miss Mati will get mad. The next day, the students of 5 William decided to apologize to Miss Mulati. We're sorry, Miss Sorry, Miss Mulati. We promise we, promise we won't repeat we won't the same mistake again. again. We promise we won't repeat the same mistake again. It's fine. I understand. I know online classes may be tough for you guys. You know, you can tell me if you if you need any help. I'll try my best to solve them if I can. Don't be afraid to share your problems with me. I know some of you guys might have trust issues. But your secrets are safe with me. Okay? Don't be sorry. I've already forgiven you guys. Thank, Thank you, Miss Melati. We love you. The students were over the moon as Miss Melati had already forgiven them. Miss Melati was also happy because she knew that students would trust her as she had tried to best to console her students. Doctors and friends have one of the greatest struggles during this pandemic. They all risk their lives to save those who are infected by the virus. Doctors are required to wear a PPE, personal protective equipment, so that they do not get infected with the virus. How are you? Did you take your lunch? Mm, no, I didn't have time to take my lunch. But it's okay, I'm not that hungry. Oh, please take care of yourself there, alright? When can you come back home? I miss you so much. The kids do too. Well, I... Doctor! <coughs> patient that A48 stopped breathing. Sorry, honey. I gotta go. I'll call you back later. Where is she? Okay, workers willingly sacrifice their precious time with their family to treat their COVID-19 patients. 
Dr. Asha had no choice and continued her work as she had more patients to treat. She felt so guilty for hanging up on her husband. I'm sorry, she cannot be saved anymore. Time of death, 2.47 a.m. Please inform her family as soon as possible. All right, doctor. We need a ventilator for this patient. No more bed left, doctor. We're overloaded. Doctor, a young patient. Priority one. Where's the patient? Ariana, you go call other hospital if they have any availability of ICU beds. We need to move the patient quickly. Okay, doctor. Ready? Take me to the patient. All right, doctor. Another death case reported, Doctor. This is not increasing and patients are dying. Calm down. I believe you managed to do this together. All right, your shifts are done. Make sure you guys have enough rest and take a nap, okay? Okay, Come Doctor. Despite being tired, they still treat more patients since Central Malaysia is in critical condition. Patients and death are also increasing. Even hospital beds are not enough, let alone graves to accommodate the corpses. Hi, I did my swab test and I'm positive COVID-19. What? Ya Allah, please carry off the disease and keep the other stuff away from COVID. You please take care. Of course I will. I'm a doctor after all. You take care too. In her heart, she was so sad and shocked to hear the news as well. But she tried to stay strong and keep was sad wings away. See, doctors are risking themselves and taking precautions as the virus is everywhere. With the help of Malaysians, the cases will surely decrease by now. On the other hand, students had their own problems too, which caused troubles in committing online schools. Learning online is very difficult, but if you want to succeed, please show your efforts by committing to the online class. If you need any help, kindly message me. Surely I'll reply. Okay, Miss Liana. Okay, okay Miss Liana. Liana. Thank you. One of the many struggles is, well, slow internet. A few minutes later. Ah, ah, why the... Ah. It has been 10 minutes and it is still low. Other than that, another struggle that students face is the deficiency of gadgets. Hey, right, quick, I need to use that phone for my science class. Well, I have a class right now, so shoot. Sure. Eric, right, please. No means no. The third problem that students might face is... Um, Mia? Can you take care of Layla while I cook? Well, Mom. Thanks, sweetheart. Um, Layla, just sit still, okay? <laughs> I barely understand Miss Susan online classes teaching. Do you understand them? I don't even know. It's like the words that come out of her mouth are all from a foreign language. I know, right? Not just that. My internet connection is always so slow. Yeah, now I feel like it's better if I don't join the class anymore. I might as well just do other things now and study later. Um, are you sure that's okay? Of course. I had a class this morning, but I didn't even join them. It's so tiring. I would rather sleep and scroll through my TikTok. Other than that, most students are stressed, easily agitated, and can't focus in class because they are often distracted with their mind and thoughts. This is why most students struggle with their online classes. Some of them don't really understand what teacher is teaching, but they have to gain their own effort by asking their friends around. Do you mind me asking you a few questions about our math class just now? I don't really understand the topic. Oh my.
my gut. Can you please not disturb me? Like, for you, you're the fifth person asking me the same thing. I know I'm smart, but you can ask the others. Yes, some students are like this too, but we can't blame them for not helping since Ariana herself didn't focus during her maths class. Students are unable to understand the topic of subject being taught and couldn't focus in class due to experiencing these struggles. A staggering 30% of pilots were unemployed and Mr. Abu was one of them. He was devastated when he got fired and struggled to adapt and overcome to do grief of job loss. I have lost my job. How am I going to support us now? It's all right. We can get through it. I can help us financially through online marketing for now. Thank you, Leah. But will it ever be enough? We will just have to be patient and work very hard. This isn't going to be easy, but I believe in us. Okay, what are your plans? Since I truly enjoy backing for now, I am planning to sell pastries online. Good idea. I can help you with your business too. One week later. Yeah. What are you baking? Oh, I'm currently baking some cookies to sell. But to be honest, our business isn't doing well. What should we do? Soon enough, we might not even have money to eat. I think I will have to sell my car. Wait, what? I thought you just pay you just finished paying the loans. Honey, I Well, we have no choice, do we? Hmm, you're right. Later that night. Oh, it's late at night and I'm tired. I'm heading to bed now. The next day. Oh no! Who left the TV on from last night? Who is going to pay for the bills now? Aya, was it you? Well, I um, yes, it was me. What a waste of electricity, Aya! You do know that Dad and I are in transport right now, and this type of behavior won't help us. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. I was careless. As eyes were moist, she ran to her bedroom crying, was angry with herself for making such a thoughtless mistake. Mr. Abu and Mrs. Leah felt bad for their child as soon as she left. They didn't have the intention to score her, but the pressure they felt over the past few days caused them to have such temper over such small things. See, this pandemic had caused many struggles, loss of jobs, less family gatherings, and more. Just taking back to reality when Emily tapped her shoulder, she quickly wiped her eyes, which she just noticed was dwelling with tears. Up to Sarah, up to Sarah. What were you thinking about? Did you listen to my story? Sarah, are you okay? Yeah, um, you're gonna have to worry. Hey, you know you can tell us anything, right? Well, your story just reminded me of my grandmother's story.
The moral is that we should always try to understand each other's situation and always be thankful. When the pandemic first hit our country in the March of 2020, and Dr. Lee needed to wear a powered air purifying respirator while carrying out intubation for a patient. Shot me through my to set up our preparation, to set up the equipment, to intubate come out with a protocol for treatment and then now a protocol for every single intubated patient and also protocol for nurses. Since the start of the outbreak, until today, the journey has not been an easy one. Tons of reading and asking the right questions to build things from scratch. Nevertheless, the third wave of the pandemic hit quote like a tsunami in December, with ICU patients increasing dramatically every day. What are the challenges faced by healthcare workers in the COVID-19 ICU? Stay tuned for more on that in the next episode. Thank you to Freshies 2125. Honestly, I must say that I'm impressed. Considering this is their first English drama competition, I see they did it fantastically. Thank you again to Freshies 2125. Next up, let's continue our English drama with the second performance of the day from none other than the sophomores 2024. Shall we check out their teaser? Caroline, could you get the door? Dad, did you call me? Moving to the Pink Palace was always mysterious. Just like this piece of paper's journey. When the paper stumbles across somebody new, its cover changes according to the person's interest. And that's how the Beldum attracts the victims. The name's Coraline was her victim.
With high spirited souls, let's see what they have yet to offer with their adaption of Coraline. Sophomores, get ready for yours. Hello? Meow! You scared me to death, you mangy thing. I'm just looking oh. for a Noel. Know it? Not talking, huh? Magic Bowser? Magic Bowser. Show me the well! Oh, let me guess. You're from Texas or Utah? Some place dried out there, right? I've heard about water things before, but it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's just an ordinary brand. It's a dowsing rod. Ow. And I don't like being stopped. Not by psychical nerds or their cats. It's not mm. really my cat. It's kind of feral, you know, wild. Look, I'm from Pontiac. Huh? Michigan. And if I am a water witch, then where's the secret well? Hello? Meow! You scared me to death, you mangy thing! I'm just oh. looking for a no well. You know it? Not talking, huh? Magic Bowser? Magic Bowser? Show me the well! Oh. Ooh, let me guess. You're from Texas or Utah? Some place right out there, right? I've heard about water things before, but it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's just an ordinary ranch. It's a dowsing rod. Ow. And I don't like being stopped. Not by psychical nerds or their cats. It's not mm. really my cat. It's kind of feral, you know, wild. Look, I'm from Pontiac. Huh? Michigan. And if I am a water witch, then where's the secret well? It's not too hard to follow it. Oh. See? It's supposed to be so deep. You go to the bottom and looked up. The sky's full of stars in the middle of the day. Especially when you move in. I do not own St. Carlos. Won't rent people with kids. I'm YB. YB low back. YB? Short for Y horn. Not my idea, of course. Would you get saddled with? I wasn't saddled with anything. It's Coraline. Caroline what? Coraline. Coraline Jones. Why, boy? I think I heard someone calling you, why, boy? What? Uh, I didn't hear anything. I definitely heard someone calling you, why were you born? Why, boy? Grandma. Well, great of me to Michigan Waterwoods, but I'd wear gloves next time. That that was a lot of yours? It's poison oak. Oh! I almost fell down the well yesterday, Mom. Uh-huh. I could have died. That's nice. Hm. So, can I go out? I think it's the perfect weather for garden. No, Caroline. Rain makes my and my looks a mess. But mom, you say you want stuff growing when my friends come to visit. Is that why we move here? I can't believe it. You and Dad get paid to write about plants, and you hate dirt. Coraline, I don't have time for you right now, and you still have unpacking to do. Lots of unpacking. Oh, some kid left this on the front porch. Hey Jonesy, look what I found in Grandma's trunk. Look familiar? Why be? Huh, a little me? That's weird. And I'm way too old for dolls. Huh? Hey Mom, where does this door go? I'm really, really busy. I think it's locked. Please? Will you stop pestering me if I do this for you? Fine. <sighs> 
bricks? I don't get it. They must have closed this off when they divided up the house. Don't forget about me, guys. Okay? Good night, you me. Whoa. There's a tunnel. Huh? Mmm, something smells good. Mom? What are you doing here in the middle of the night? You're just in time for supper, dear. You're not my mother. My mother doesn't have b b bun. <laughs> Do you like them? I'm your other mother, silly. Now go tell your father that supper's ready. He's in his study. Hello, Coraline. Wanna hear my new song? Sorry, but she said to tell you that supper's ready. Mmm. This chicken is good. Hungry, aren't you? We've been waiting for you, Coraline. For me? Yep. Wasn't the same here without you, kiddo. I didn't know I had another mother. Of course you do. Everyone does. Really? Mm-hmm. And I thought after your two eating, probably we could play a game. Perhaps hide and seek in the rain? What rain? What about the mud? We love mud here. Mud facials, mud baths, mud pies. It's great for poison oak. How do you know I? I love to play, but I better get back to my other mother. But I'm your other mother. I mean my other other mother, mom number one. I think I should get to bed. Of course dear, it's all made up. Come along, sleepyhead. Hello, Coraline. Hello, hello, hello. But checking, baby. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Loper? Where's so swampers and cook? Pipes almighty, how are my best trolls? I can't wait till summer. They're both coming, right? We're already here, Coraline. Gone to Oregon. Oh, the mud. See you soon. See you soon. It's gone. My poison oak. It's gone. It was incredibly real, Mom. Only you weren't really you. You were the other mother. But it's for eyes, huh? Coraline, you only drank it all that chicken. Take your multivitamin at least. During the dream too, that you wore wild looking pajamas and orange monkey slippers. <laughs> orange? My monkey slippers are blue. Psst, can you get me some of this magic mud you were talking about? Because I have a terrible case of writer's rush on my. If the real Charlie Jones wants his pages edited, he better wrap them up ASAP. Bobinski, 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 Bobinski. Oh, yuck! Hello? I think our mail got mixed up. Should I just leave it outside or. It could. Famous jumping mask circus. Not red, little girl. Circus? Oh, I brought this for you. The naughty samples. Very clever. Using this mix up to sneak at home and pick up mushkas? Mushkas? Mice. Oh, sorry. I'm Caroline Jones. And I am the amazing 
Bobinski. But you call me Mr. B because amazing as I already know that I am. You see, Caroline, the problem is my new song is called Oompa, Oompa. But the jumping mouse circus only been turn to it like that. It's nice, but yet not so much amazing. So now I switch to stronger cheese. And soon, watch out. Cheer, have to be. Make you strong. That's it, Tanya. Caroline. Core. Line. Hey! Caroline! Wait! Caroline, the mice asked me to give you a message. They said, do not go through the door. Do you know such thing? The one behind the wallpaper? But it's all break up. See you, Ifana Yaping. Well, how nice to see you, Caroline. Would you like to come in for playing cards? Still, Coraline, Miss Pink. Are those dogs real? Oh, sweet departed angels. Couldn't bear to part with them. So we had them stop. Now there's Hamish the third, Hamish the fourth, Drops Julian. Go on, have one. It's time, time for Matafi for writing. Best in the video. world. I could read them if you like. Read what? Your tea leaves, dear. You'll tell me your future. Go on, then drink up. You're not all of it, not all of it. That's right. I'll hand it over. Oh, Caroline, you are in terrible danger. Oh, give me that cup, April. Your eyes are going. My eyes? You're blind as a bat. Well, not to worry, child. It's good news. There will be a tall, handsome beast in your future. Really, Miriam? You're holding it wrong. See? Danger. What do you see? I see a very peculiar hand. I see a giraffe. Giraffes don't fall from the sky, Miriam. Well, what should I do? Never wear green in your dressing room. Acquire a very tall step ladder. And be very, very careful. Now, was there something you came to tell us? No, I guess not. Thanks for the tea, though. To the loo! Cherry bye! Break! The village stalker. How? I wasn't stalking you. We're hunting banana slugs. What do you mean? Ha! Huh. Your cat's not wild. He's a wuss puss. What? He hates to get his feet wet. Wuss puss. So? That doll? Did you make it like me? Oh no. I found it that way. Told them grandma. Well, then his house, probably. Come on, blue hair, my swampers, and raincoat. You know, I've never been inside a palace. Grandma killed me. Said it's dangerous or something. Dangerous? Well, she had a twin sister. So? Well, when they were kids, Grandma's sister disappeared. Said she was stolen or something. Stolen? Well, what do you think? I don't know, maybe she just ran away. Why, boy? Look, I gotta go. But wait! Welcome back, dear. Did you go fetch your father? I bet he's hungry as a pumpkin by now. You mean my other father? Your better father, dear. He's out in the garden. Whoa, I can't believe you did all this. I love your garden. Our garden, Coraline? Your mother knew you'd love this. Boy, she knows you like the back of her hand. Well, she says it's time for dinner. 
breakfast food. Let's go, kiddo. Mmm, so good. I love dinner breakfast food. Coraline, Mr. Bobinski has invited you to come and see the jumping mice perform after dinner. Really? That no doubt why B say was all in Mr. B's head. Well, everything's right in this world, kiddo. Your father and I will clean up while you and your friend head next door. My friend. Great. Another YB. Hello, why were you born? Hello. I thought that you'd like him more if he spoke a little less, so I fixed him. So he can't talk at all? Nope. Whoa, this is awesome! There! Ladies and gentlemen, for to tickle your eyes and ears and to harm your heart, I, Sergei Alexander Popinski, am introducing my astonishing, marvelous, and amazing jumping mouse circus. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen. We loved it, Mr. B. It was so, so amazing. You are welcome anytime you like, Coraline. Until next time, baka baka. Put them back, Coraline. But mom, the whole school's going to wear boring clothes. I want one of these. Put them back. My other mother will get them. Maybe she should buy all your clothes. So, what do you think is in the other apartment anyway? I don't know. Not a family of Jones imposters. Then why'd you lock it? I found some rat crap and I want you to be safer. They're jumping my small. And the dreams aren't dangerous. They're the most fun since we moved here. School might be fun. Not with these boring clothes. We still have to go food shopping later. You can pick up something you like. Like these gloves? Look, if everything goes well today, I promise I'll make it up. That's exactly what you always say. Let's go, Caroline. I knew it was real. Wow. I love this. The talkative YB got a cat like you. You must be the other cat. I'm not the other anything. You don't have button eyes. And how can you talk? Cats don't talk at home. It looks like you are clearly the expert on these things. After all, I'm just a big fat wuss I'm sorry I called you that. How did you get here? She hates cats and tries to get me out, but she can't, of course. I come and go as I please. The other mother hates cats? What do you mean? She's amazing. You probably think this world is a dream come true, but you're wrong. You can stay here forever if you want to. Really? There's one tiny little thing we need to do. Mm. 
No way! You're not sewing the buttons into my eyes! But we need a yes if you want to stay here. So sharp you won't feel a thing. We only want the best for you, darling. I'm going to bed. Right now. Bed? Before dinner? I'm just really, really tired. I, I need to sleep. Of course you do. I'll be happy to tuck you in. Oh, no thanks. You've done so much for me. Sure, and we aren't mad at all, darling. Soon, you will see things our way. What's wrong, Caroline? Don't you want to play? Hey, where are your buttons, Robert? You're staying, aren't you? Going home tonight. We'll be back. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Yes, if you want so to sleep here. You won't feel a thing. Oh my god! I'm still here? And what do you think you are doing? I'm getting out of here. That's what I'm doing. Wait, where's you? Well, nothing out here is the empty part of this world. She only made what she knew would impress you. But why does she want me? She wants something to love, I think. Or maybe she loves something to eat. That's ridiculous. Hang on. Stop! He's one of the circus mice! I don't like rats at best of times, but this one was sounding an alarm. Good kitty. I'll go back and try the secret tunnel. They say even the proudest spirit can be broken with love. Chocolate never hurts. Like one? Ugh! Oh, they're moving! I want to be with my real mom and dad. Let. Me. Go. Is there any way you talk to your mother? Apologize at once, Coraline. No. Ugh. Ow! That hurts! Ow! Ugh. I want to go home. Go home, please, Coraline. That's demented. This is why you should never leave. Dear, this whole reality I invented just proves you're too desperate for affection. Why would you go back? Come on now, really. Look at you. You think your parents love you? Don't be a dummy. Come with the mommy. Other mother. No. No. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> Coraline knows best. Coraline's so mature now. Such a clever grown-up miss. Coraline knows best. Fine, if you're so sure now. Go ahead and don't have this. Ha! This can keep you here. Don't let them deceive you. I'll give this to you and you'll see. Trust me, my dear. That's how fast you leave them. I won't say I told you so. But no, no, Coraline knows best. So if your friends are stream boots, go and put them to a test. If they're disregarding, don't come crying. Mother. You may come out when you have learned to be a loving daughter. Hush and shush, for the bell that might be listening. You mean the other mother? Who are you? Don't remember our names, but I remember my true mommy. Why are you all here? The bell that. She spied on our lives through the little doll's eyes and saw we were happy. So she lured us away with treasure and treats. It is all that we asked for. 
the way that he saw the buttons. He said she loved us, but she loved us here. Ain't that a lie? Well, she can't keep me in the dark forever. Not if she wants to win my life. Perhaps, if you do win, you could find your eyes. Find our eyes, mistress, and our souls will be free. I'll try. Why be? Shh! Coraline, is that you? Let's go. Let's go. Come on, she'll hurt you. Coraline, how dare you disobey your mother? Coraline! I'm home. Anybody here? Hello? Real mom, real dad. Ooh, mom's groceries. Ugh, that's disgusting. I missed you guys, you'll never. Oh, the YB that talks. Huh? Yeah, um, so you know that old doll that I gave you? Um, my grandma's real mad. She says it was her sister's, the one that disappeared. You stole that doll, didn't you? It used to look like this pioneer girl, then Huck Finn Jr., then this little rascal chick with ribbons and braids, and Grandma's missing sister! I think I just met her. Come on! She's in there. Can you... can you unlock it? Not in a million years. But it wouldn't matter. She can't escape without her eyes. None of the ghosts can. Yeah, so I really need to get that doll. Great. I'd love to get rid of it. Where are you hiding, you little monster? The doll's your spy. It's how she watches you and finds out what's wrong with your life. The doll is my grandma's spy. No, the other mother. She's got this whole world where everything's better. But it's all a trap. Don't believe me? You can ask the cat. The cat? Um, I'll just tell grandma. You couldn't find the doll. You're not listening to me. You're crazy. Ah! Mom, Dad, please pick up. Where are you guys? Do you know where Mom and Dad are? Mom, Dad, what are you doing in the mirror? And it's freezing cold. The snow globe. You're trapped inside the snow globe in the other house. Help us, Coraline. How did this happen? They're not coming back, are they? Not on their own. Only one thing to do. You know you are walking right into her trap. I have to go back. They are my parents. Challenge her then. She might not play fair, but she won't refuse. She's got a thing for games. Coraline? Mom? Coraline, you came back to us. Mom! Darling, why would you run away from me? Where are my parents? Gosh, I have no idea where your old parents are. Perhaps they've grown bored of you and run away to France. They weren't bored of me. You stole them. Now don't be difficult, Coraline. Have a seat, won't you? Why don't you have your own key? There's only one key. The garden squash needs tending, don't you think, Pumpkin? Breakfast time! Why don't we play a game? I know you like them. What kind of game would it be? A finding things game. And what is it you'll be finding, Coraline? My real parents. And the eyes of the ghost children. Huh. What if you lose this game? If I lose, I'll stay here forever and let you love me. And I'll let you seal buttons into my eyes. Hmm. And if you somehow win this game? Then you let me go. You let everyone go. 
my real father and mother, the dead children, everyone that you've trapped here. Deal. Not until you give me a clue. Oh, right. In each of the three wonders I've made just for you, a ghost eye is lost in plain sight. And for my parents? Fine, don't tell me. What does she mean by wonders? Oh, I know! Oh! Stop! That must be it! Sorry, so sorry. Mother is making me. Don't want to hurt you. Bless you, Miss. You found me, but there's two eyes to lost. The pearl ring. Thief! Thief! Give it back! Thief! 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 Give it back! Give it back! Give it back! Give it back. Give it back. Oh! 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 Hurry on, ye who web is unwinding. Evil witch! I'm not scared! Hello, Kalipushka. Is this what you're looking for? Good thing. Winning game is good thing. But we're gonna be at home and be bored and be neglected. Same as always. Stay here with us. We will listen and laugh at you. Stay here. You can have anything you want. Oh, you don't get it, do you? I don't understand. I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're just a copy she made of the real Mr. Oh. Not even that anymore. No! Oh no, I've lost the game. I've lost everything. I think I mentioned that I don't like rats like that sometimes. I think you might have said something like that. It looks like you needed this one, however. Thank you. I'm heading inside. I still have to find my parents. Come on, quickly! So you're back! And you brought vermin with you. I brought a friend. You know I love you. You have a very funny way of showing it. So, where are they? The ghost eyes. We aren't finished yet, are we? No, I suppose not. After all, you still have to find your old parents, don't you? Too bad you don't have this. Be clever, miss. Even if you win, she'll never let you go. I already know where you've hidden them. Well, produce them. They're behind that door. Oh, they are, are they? Go on, open it. They'll be there, all right. No, you're wrong, Coraline. They aren't there, and you are going to stay here forever. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, you horrible cheating girl. No, where are you going, you selfish brat? You dare disobey your mother. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I'll die without you. Caroline, we're home. Mom, Dad, I missed you so much. Missed us? Oh no, you broke my favorite snow globe. I didn't break it. It must have broken your skate. And cut your knee. Caroline, I asked you to count all the windows, not put your knee through them. Well, get yourself cleaned up. We're going out tonight. We got a lot to celebrate. You're talking about the garden catalog. Of course, what else? So, are you going to order the tulips? What's that? 
for the garden party? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, so mom, did you get the invitations? Don't forget the invitations. Even Bobinski. Mr. B's not drunk, mom. He's just eccentric. Here you go, Caroline. A little something for you. Wow, that is lovely. Meow. Oh, hello again. Are you still mad? I'm really sorry I threw you at her, the other mother. It was all I could think of doing. Hey, I'm, I'm really sorry I didn't believe you about all this evil stuff. Huh? Why did you change your mind? Well, my grandma showed me this picture after I called you crazy. It's her and her sister before she disappeared. The sweet ghost girl. And what am I going to tell her? Just bring her by the house tomorrow. We can tell her together. We can? You know, I'm glad you decided to stalk me. Was it my idea? Thanks for helping, Miss Pink, Miss Forcible. Oh, look, Miriam. Pink ladies. Actually, it's just lemonade. Excuse me, Mom. Cool drinks? Oh, yeah, great. Ooh. You were right, Coraline. I really hate dirt. But the tulips do look nice. Thanks, Mom. How are the mushkas, Mr. B? Oh, Caroline, you see, they say that you are still very Caroline, and as soon as they are ready, they wish to give you a special thanks performance. Well, born, I know where I'm going. I grew up here. Welcome, Miss Lovat. Oh, hello. I'm Caroline Jones. And I've got so much to tell you. Thank you so much to Sophomores 2024. For your information, despite being in their second year in TKC, this is actually their first time participating in our annual English drama competition. Congratulations again, Sophomores. And now, let's call upon the third performers, Estelle 1923 with their drama, The Picture of Dorothy Gray. I read that the story is of a beautiful, innocent young lady's moral corruption and eventual downfall. Throughout the story, a mysterious yet mystical portrait continuously mirrors her vile actions. And now, let's take a look at the teaser. Behold, the feature of Dorothy Gray.
The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. It's your best work, Basil. The best thing you've ever done. You must certainly send it next year to the Grosvenor. It's really the only place. The Academy is too large and too vulgar. I don't think I shall send it anywhere. Not send it anywhere? Have you any reason? How odd you painters are. You do anything in the world to gain reputation, but when you do, you want to throw it away. It's silly of you. A portrait like that would set you far above all the men in England. I know you will laugh at me, but I really can't exhibit it. I've put too much of my stuff into it. You shrug your shoulders. I am telling the truth. For Dorothy Gray's good looks, you shall suffer for what God gave. Dorothy Gray? Is that her name? Why didn't you want to tell me? Oh, it's just... When I like people immensely, I don't tell their names to anyone. It's like surrendering part of them. It's silly, but I guess it brings romance into one's life. Miss Dorothy Gray is here, sir. Then you must introduce me to her now. Dorothy Gray is my dearest friend. She has a simple and beautiful nature. Don't spoil her. Don't influence her. Don't take away the person who gives my other chum. Helen, I trust you. What nonsense you talk. Call me Green. What took so long for you to let me in? You can at least say something. I'm not going to sit here all day long and I don't even want a life-size portrait of myself, Beagle. Talk to me. Oh, pardon me. I didn't see you there. Basil, you didn't tell me you had company. This is Lady Helen Dorothy, an old school friend of mine. It's quite all right. I'm still very delighted to see you, Dorothy. Am I to go, Basil? Oh, Basil, will be Helen. I see that Basil is in one of his such moods, and I can't bear when he sulks. You don't really mind, do you, Basil? You often told me that you like your sisters to have someone to chat to. If Dorothy wishes it, of course you must stay. No, Dorothy, come up here and don't move about too much or pay any attention to what Lady Helen says. She has a very bad influence over our friends, with a single exception of myself. Have you really a bad influence, Lady Helen? As bad as Basil says? There is no such thing as a good influence, Miss Gray. All influence is immoral. Immoral from the scientific point of view. Why? To influence someone is to alter his view of himself. He does not think his natural thoughts or burn with his natural passions. His virtues are not real to him. The aim of life is self-development. To realize one's nature perfectly. That is what each of us is here for. And yet, Just turn your head a little more to the left, Dorothy, like a good girl. And yet, I believe that if one man was to live out his life fully and completely, were to give form to every feeling, expression to every thought, and reality to every dream, I believe that the world would gain such a fresh impulse of joy. Youth and beauty are the finest of all treasures, and they should be cherished and guarded because they so quickly fade. There is absolutely nothing in the world but you. It's done. Can I see it? You look utterly graceful, Dorothy. He, yes, I suppose. Basil, this is breathtaking. It is a masterpiece. But... Could what, Dorothy? I can't bear the thought of having to lose all of that. All of what? That. What? That, Basil, that. I have that beauty, Basil. Imagine all the wrinkles and hideous darkness on my skin I would get after time takes its place. I mean, I just can't. Oh my. Can I have it, Basil? For the price of anything. I'm willing to pay. 
Is that my property, Helen? It's all hers. Well, how lucky it is to be hers then. If only that thing to would grow old and not me. Your picture has taught me when one loses one's good look, one loses everything. Lady Helen is perfectly right. When I find that I am growing old, I shall kill myself. Stop, Dorothy. You are out of your mind. Whatever Helen has been telling you, it is all wrong. You are not seeing things clearly. I have never had such a friend as you. You are far finer than any of them. Don't tell me I jealous or mature things. This must have been your doing. <laughs> me? No, no, darling. This is the real Dorothy Gray. Stop talking, Helen. I shall destroy my work of art then, for the sake of setting this. No! Don't destroy the beauty! Ah, so you appreciate my art at last? Appreciate? I am in love with it! Well, I'm happy for you. As soon as you are dry, you shall be varnished and framed and sent home. Then you can do what you like with yourself. I suppose you're too busy to accompany me to the theatre tonight, Dorothy? Oh no! I would be glad to! Arms! Take your last embrace! And lips! With this virtuous kiss! Seal a contract with death that has no end or limit! Let's go! Beat the action! Let's go! Guiding hand! Rush on like a pilot driven mad with seasickness. Crashing the ship on the rocks. Here's to my love. The whole act was a mess. I must admit that I was rather annoyed at the idea of seeing Shakespeare done in such a ratchet hole of a place. This play was good enough for us, Helen. It was Romeo and Juliet. But Romeo, oh, it was the loveliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, Dorothy, falling in love is for the weak. Men marry because they are tired. Women, because they are curious. Both end up disappointed. Despite this supposed advice, Dorothy ended up falling deeper and deeper in love with Cedric Vane, the man who played Romeo. Every evening, she would go by herself to see Cedric star in different plays as she falls in love with his different personas. They started talking and met up outside of the theater. Oh, how wonderfully we're out there! It is as if we're a different person, entirely! It was because of you. Your presence made me whole. Oh, um, Dorothy, would you care to do with me tomorrow? Yes, I would love to! Dear mother, I'm in love. She is the most beautiful girl I had ever seen. She is so shy and gentle. She has this bewitching aura that makes her amusing to be around. There's something about him that's childlike. His eyes open and wonder when I told him how powerful he was in his performances. They sound wonderful, dearest. You are at the right age to be engaged soon, aren't you? Why not next Friday? Soon? Word spread that they were engaged. Everything was going just fine until... What was that? Your acting was beyond horrible. You've been like this for the past few days. What is happening to you? I'm sorry. I wish I had this. Uh, I promise. Please, just give me another chance. I've given you too many chances now. I can't have someone like you here. You know what? Don't come near this shit ever again. You acted horribly tonight. Horrible. It was dreadful. Do you understand now? Why I was so bad tonight? Why I shall never act well again? Truthy. It's you. Before I knew you, Tito was my only life. I was never a part of the real world. But you, oh, my beautiful love, 
Kim in famous song from his prison of break footers and comic clubbers. You have killed my love. You used to steal my imagination. Now you simply produce no effect. I loved you because you were something new, different, and unfamiliar. The characters you play each night. I've never felt such affection or tender. It was never you, Cedric. It was your character. Now you've thrown it all away. What a fool I have been. I will never think of you nor mention your name. You are acting? Acting? I leave that to you. You used to do it so well. Dorothy, Dorothy, please don't leave me. I'm sorry I didn't act well. I was thinking of you all the time. But I will try. Indeed, I will try. Can you forgive me for tonight? Don't be cruel to me. I love you better than anything in this world. I am going. I don't wish to be unkind, but I can't stand to see you again. You have disappointed me. I'm calling off the wedding. As she neared the portrait, Dorothy noticed her features had an odd appearance. Miss Gray, Miss Gray, Lady Helen is waiting for you in the living room. Oh, Helen, so good to meet you, darling. Why do you look so uneasy? Is something bothering you? I... I left Cedric. I lost my love to this one. He was not the same as before. I told you, you kept chasing after him. And now you gave everything up. That's alright. You've learned your lesson. Now don't go chasing after any more men. All of them are useless. Well, what brings you here? Ah! I came to hand over this book I just read. I think you should give it a look. What is it about? Oh my dear, you have to read it yourself, of course. The protagonist in this book lives his life self-centeredly, which intrigues Dorothy. Influenced by the book, Dorothy starts living her life just like her wicked mentor, Lady Helen. As time passes by and the more corrupted she became, the portrait reflected her actions. The Dorothy in the portrait grew more and more hideous as Dorothy herself stays unnaturally young and beautiful. Oh, my dear, please, we spare a few change. I've been starving for days. Oh, madam, please, madam. <sighs> Disgusting swine. Get off my clothes, if you think about <sighs> Oh, look who it is. <laughs> you, you? I, I thought you, you were... Are you fine, Dorothy? Dorothy? Oh, how, how lonely I've become without you. Are you fine? Are you doing good, Dorothy? Oh, so you're back now. It's sad to see how low you speak after I'm gone. Don't touch me. Can you leave me and pursue your own life? What a sad excuse of a man you are! Rumors start to spread about the various people whose lives Dorothy had ruined and her formerly good reputation destroyed. Is that the Dorothy Gray? Dorothy Gray? I heard that she likes to steal jewelries. What kind of woman is that? An awful one. She used to be such an innocent darling. Oh, I've heard words of her. Didn't you hear about Cedric Vane? Isn't he a famous actor? Well, maybe not anymore, but he was. Well, Dorothy was the main reason he is not anymore. She left him after making him fall madly in love with her. 
Bruno is happy that he's just becoming a burden to his parents. That's just unacceptable. How could she just leave someone like that? Well, she is Dorothy Gray. Dorothy had overheard the conversation and started to dwell in her own thoughts as she makes her way home. As she uncovers her portrait, she was shocked to find the hideous woman staring down upon her. In your eyes, you see it's blue Blue is bad, and blue is good Sweet and lies, a bitter truth What is love? I have to choose I don't care what people say, all of them are just lies Lies As long as I have all I want, then I will be fine all my life I have not to have been ignoring too much about myself, about myself Finally now I realize that nothing ever matters like some myself, all by myself I felt those things from my heart strange, I took them in to feel my anger Now you see, oh now you see All my life I have not to have been ignoring too much about myself about myself, all about myself. Wait, is that you, Dorothy? Um, do I know you? You don't remember me? I'm Basil, your friend. I painted your portrait. Oh, it's you. What brings you here? I came here to meet you. I got to your house, but you were nowhere to be found. I'm tired of hearing bad things about you when I walk around the city. Somebody mentioned the fact that you started stealing some time ago and everybody improper things. Are they true? Even if they are, it's none of your business. Dorothy, I don't know if they are true. Only God knows. But if they are, please go back to your old self. Please be the Dorothy that I used to know. You were so decent and sinless. I don't know what Helen did to you, but one thing's for sure, she corrupted you. No, she didn't. All oh, Helen must help me. Can't you see? I'm finally beautiful. Helen taught me the real meaning of beauty. Sometimes you just have to go your own way to get what you want, and this is the path I chose. You don't understand. Beauty is not just about being pretty. Stop it's it. about. You were heading to my house, weren't you? So, you think it is only God who sees this soul, Basil? Once I draw the curtain back, you will see mine. Dorothy, don't tell me it's the portrait I painted of you! Oh, how hot is that it become? Do you perhaps remember the day you gave me this painting? Oh, what a fateful day! Do you remember that wish, Basil? That one wish? I wish for the painting to grow old and hideous instead of me. No, no, there is no such way. This, this must be become a real Jew. Or perhaps the planet found. Or did you deliberately destroy this painting, Dorothy? Do you understand, Basil? This painting had destroyed me. Oh, Dorothy, pray, pray, Dorothy. If your prayer of pride was accepted, surely your prayer of return will be too. It is too late, Basil. It's never too late. Oh, Dorothy, what have you done? This is not who you used to be. Look how hard you've become. I've been reflecting all of my demeanor onto you. I can't even look at you anymore. If there is time, I'll destroy you and start over a new life. Dorothy, 
for her wish stayed true till the very end, for she is the painting, and the painting is her. That was a shocking ending and I must say Cedric has a certain charm and that ladies and gentlemen marks the end of the junior place. Let us proceed with the seniors. Next up, the champion from the previous drama competition, Athalia 1822. Do you think they can repeat the same victory? We'll just have to wait and see. But first, let's check out their teaser. Ladies and gentlemen, drop the curtains and let's bring in Grandpa's Diary. Hey, hi. Yeah, it's you. Did you see there? Well, the play's about to start. Let's watch together. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, millennials of the floor, this is a story about a teenage boy named Adam, a very helpful, intelligent, and humble young man. Hmm, where are they? They should be arriving any time now. Adam and his two best buddies, Chu and Raju, are very close. They share almost everything and they always have each other's back. Although society underestimates their unique trio, they still stick together nonetheless. Hey, did you guys watch last night's game? Yes, Manchester United won! Woo! Yes, they played well. Boys, would you please help me to clean the attic? My back hurts like crazy. That is Adam's grandpa. Ever since Adam's parents passed away, he took care of Adam, and Adam adores him very much. Sure thing, Grandpa! Grandpa! Sure thing, Grandpa! Uh, it's really dark. Are you guys sure about this? Hmm. 
quoi, Raju. Don't be such a scaredy cat. Besides, what's the worst that could happen? Ah! Why is it so dark? So this place is really dusty. <coughs> guys, guys! These faces look familiar. You guys might want to check this out. Wait, is that my grandparents? Oh my god. That's impossible. There. That's my grandfather too. Unbelievable. There's also a pretty young lady in the picture. What? Our grandparents were friends? I don't get it. I can't believe it. What happened to their friendship? Why hasn't my grandfather ever told me about this? Who is this mysterious lady? Well, there's only one way to find out. Look at the last page. Oh no, it's torn! Oh man, what a bummer. Little did they know, unexpected things are about to come in their way. Wait, 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 why is everything shaking? Oh, I feel so dizzy. <sighs> I'm starting to see two of you guys now. <laughs> Hi Diana. Hello Diana. Hi Lee. Guys, it's been a while. Let's hang out together. Yeah, okay, okay, but when? Meet at our secret spot, okay? At the waterfall. Uh where is that again? Ayo yo, behind the mosque. Why are you so hard to remember? Alright, see you all there. Okay, Diana. Why are they here? Oh no! Hey, are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Well, does this mean we were stuck in the past? Yes, our grandfathers are so young. Huh? I don't want to die. How do you get out? Relax. Let's just look around first. Yes, let's see what we can find. Look how happy everyone is. If only people in Malaysia could be like this. If only we could be like that. Hey, I'm in your class. <laughs> What is that? Ah! Run! Ayoyo! 
What is wrong with you? Chicken. Chicken. Chill. It's just a chicken. It won't bite you. Are you insane? That chicken has like an insane thing. Two gigantic feet and wings that are so scary. And they record my sound. Especially a unique image, and you will discover and you will uncover the real truth that had never really been told. What does this mean? Is this voice giving us hints? Raju, is the diary still with you? Yes, yes. Okay. They said that their secret spot is at the mosque, uh, at the waterfall. Okay, open the page and look at the picture. See? It's the mosque. There at the stream, which means there is a stream at a nearby mosque. Hmm, I think I know where it is. Let's go. Yes! Thank you, sweet Ashley, for annoying voice. They quickly hide and try to eavesdrop on their argument. That's it. I can't believe this is happening. You know I liked her before. And you still want to play innocent? So what if I did? I have feelings too, Kuma. Why can't you just, I don't know, accept that? Alright, alright. Let's let her choose. But you know what? Obviously, she'll go with you. You're an ideal man, Lee. Don't be like that. We can all work this out together. I don't care about this love, honestly. I am just thinking of how foolish I seem whenever my eyes lit up looking at Diana. And you, Lee, you didn't want to tell me about this. I would actually be okay if you did. You are my best friend. Well, even if I did, you wouldn't want to listen because you are so ignorant and you think you're the main character and I am just a shadow of you. Looking back, you must have laughed at how crazy I looked when I was in love. You know what? I wish you two a happy ending. No! Kumar, come back! I need to think this. True. Sorry. Bye, guys. Sorry, Diana. Ugh, is this all my fault? What happened? How am I going to fix this? As the four left, the trio began to investigate the area. Look, guys! I think I found something! Your eyes light up like the stars. Your smile is breathtaking. Your laugh makes me feel butterflies. I I really enjoy your company, even though we're just friends. But can we be more? Because I have fallen for you. Sincerely, XO XO. <laughs> it's so cringy. 
So, all of that crawling over a stupid love letter? What is this? I suppose so. But who wrote it? Look, it's anonymous. Hmm. Adam, you hold it first. Okay. Wait. It's another envelope. What a wonderful place everyone comes you for a taste Malaysia streets away come on over and grab a place What is that? More like where is that? Are you are you Malaysians or what? You fools are so Wait for me! Kamal sits alone at the mama, pouting. Everyone else at the mama seems very happy and are engulfed in their own business. Suddenly, someone approaches him. Hello boss! What would you like to order? Roti, chana, and teh, tari, and sujo? Oh, I don't know, uncle. I guess I'm not in the mood for anything. What's wrong, boy? Anything your uncle mama can help you with? Just in time. Come on, let's sit down. Uncle, my friends got into a fight. A bad one. Ayo, yo. Kumarli and Yana, why did they fight? Was it that bad? Yes, it was pretty bad. Basically, they're just fighting because, let's just say someone, like someone, but someone else does too. It looks like a little triangle. Oh, everything's messed up. Ah, uh, young love. I remember back then, it was the good old days. But you're too young. I suggest that you just forgive each other. Nothing is much more important than friendship. When you're old and wise like me, You'll understand. Friendship matters. That's it. I have to get them to forgive each other and we'll also be trying to win. Thanks, Uncle. My pleasure, Kamal. The wind became strong and blew the letter from Adam's hands. He picked it up and suddenly falls, bumping into... Just see for yourself. Oh no, the wind! Ah! Oh, sorry. Are you okay? Please forgive me for missing you. Wait, do I know you? You seem oddly familiar. Um, I don't know you at all. I think I have to go back to get my diary. Oh, no, no. My letter. Um, no. My chicken. Bye! That's odd. Phew, that was a close one. <laughs> Come on, Adam. We have to get going if we want to know what happened. Ayo, such a slow poke. The trio are walking around the village, wondering what to do. Wow, I can't believe all of our grandparents were best friends. And to think they are two generations after them are best friends is just crazy. Hmm, but our grandparents hate each other now. If only they could be friends again. Friends again? I don't think so. Roger's grandpa probably got rejected because of his dark skin. <laughs> what did you say? What? Don't take it seriously. It's just a joke. Really funny, Joe. Probably we couldn't think of a funny one because of your stupid brain. Smile yourself a bit, will ya? Whoa, 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 whoa. Who do you think you are talking about me like that? What? It's just a joke. Open your slender eyes and please realize your limits. Oh, be quiet, will you? You don't think I hear you mocking my Chinese accent when I'm not around? You want me to talk about your accent? Hey, that's it. Stop! 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 You guys are so immature! I can't believe we're fighting! 
You guys are better than this. You know that. Wow. What is it with you, Matisse? Thinking you know everything, right? You guys are all the same. Self-also and selfish. Oh my god, I don't... Uh, uh, I can't believe what I just said. I, I, I didn't mean it, I swear. Whatever. I guess what you said was half true after all. Oh, I'm so sick and tired of this. I just want to see why the relationship in with people in Malaysia are like this. Adam sits under a tree, looking sad. After a while, he falls asleep. Adam had a deep sleep under the tree. And to his surprise, he dreamt of something very strange. Adam, my youngest grandson, I really remember those old days when you were baby so small, chubby. I could pick you up and you chuckle. Grandpa, you're here. Wait, where are we? Is this heaven? Oh, Adam, you look terrified. Come here. You used to be alone with no friends. Now look at you. You're like a social butterfly. I used to be like you. My friends and I would always hang out. They always helped me in tough times. Wait, Uncle Kumar and Uncle Lee? Like when homework was too hard, my tummy starving and whatnot. We'd always be together inseparable. Um, wait, 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 what? You see, friends matter the most. They will always be there during our happiest or saddest moments. They'll support you no matter what. Never break the bond between any of them. Wait, wait, you're saying that my friends matter the most? What, what? What does that mean, actually? Where are you? We need to talk! Well, what do you want? Oh, don't bother me. You guys, I just had a dream. Well, um, okay, never mind. Just listen to me, okay? Okay, so this is the last puzzle. It is a test. So, the mission was the secret of the torn page, right? But we were actually wrong. We are supposed to find a problem. As he said, we are divided here. Well, what do you mean by that? Okay, okay. We are not supposed to end up like this. The conflicts and arguments. So, to get out, we need to be together. This is a test of friendship. Trust and faith. What would we get if we keep fighting like this? Nothing, right? Look, I'm sorry if I've ever made your feelings hurt, but I really treasure our friendship. Truth is, I think it's my fault. I'm sorry because sometimes I mock your accent behind your back and it is an act of racism, which I understand upsets you. You're right. Okay, I'm sorry for saying that and all. It's a bit too harsh. Sorry, too. You're a great friend. You know what? Forgive me. I said a joke about your grandparents' skin color, and it's offensive. I should be much more educated. Well, this is all just a misunderstanding, you know? We should stand together as one. Sorry, Raju. You've always been there for me. The trio finally figured it out. The real reason was to be one and face all the challenges side by side. They then reached into the pockets and found the glowing button. Finally, they are able to get out. We each got a button! Yay! Finally, let's get out. I'm so tired of chickens and spiders. Raju and Chu press the button and immediately disappear. Adam takes a deep breath 
and one, two, three. Wait, why am I still here? Did something go wrong? Huh? Grandpa is coming. How can this happen to me? This illness is so shocking. I can't let anyone know about this. No one can wait, know. Wait, wait, wait. About what? Adam wakes up. He didn't care about anything besides his grandpa. Grandpa! Where are you? Grandpa, I need to talk to you! Adam was too late. He finds his grandpa sleeping peacefully. Grandpa! Grandpa, why can you tell me? Why? Was this your plan? To let your grandchild find you laying down? Come out, come out, buddy. We're here. Hello. No. We rush here as soon as we wake up. We already tell our grandpas the truth already. Our grandparents told us everything and we came here as soon as... Oh. Everyone froze. It was silent until someone broke it. <laughs> Come out. I knew it. I just knew it. He was hiding something. Well, what do you mean, grandpa? He used to be coughing a lot and been getting that fever. I thought maybe it was normal. He used to go to the doctors for checkups every week. Ah, ah, so stupid. Ah, come on. The doctor's letter. Grandpa, why did you tell me? Anyone? Maybe we could have saved you. <laughs> oh, there's something in the hand. <laughs> Wait, could it be me? <laughs> it is. The torn page! It was here all along! So it was a stupid love triangle. Lee likes Diana, and Diana likes him too. Kumar told Lee about his small crush on Diana, and at the stream, we all tried to talk about it, but things got out of control. It became a big fight. We were separated. What did we do? What happened? Lee sacrificed his love for Diana, hoping Kumar would accept him back. Kumar thinks Lee puts lovers before friends first. The two drifted apart. Diana became just heartbroken about losing her first love. And I just tried to talk to them all, but I couldn't. It was too late. Everyone was gone, moved away, avoided each other. I felt so alone. I am now no longer in contact with any of them. I just have my beloved grandson, the only gem left in my life. I just hope that they are all happy. Some people arrive and make a beautiful, fantastic, spectacular impact on your life. You can barely remember what life was like without them. I just really miss them. I will never forget the memories I had with them. Time is flying by fast and I'm going to be gone soon. Remember how we used to joke about being gone forever without saying our farewells? Well, it finally feels so real. If they ever read this, I'd like them to know that. Growing apart doesn't change the fact that for a long time, we grew side by side. Our roots will always be tangled. I'm glad for that. Thank you for everything. Love you guys to the moon and back. From your late buddy, Kamal. Man, I'm missing Kama already. 
And anyway, thank you so much to Aftalia 1822 for the amazing performance. And also, I must say, my favorite actresses are definitely the trees. Are you enjoying the show, everyone? Get ready for our last performance. This will certainly be their fourth and final act. We bring you Daria 1721. Curious to see what the drama is all about? Let's check them out. Dear world, you must go to Earth. What? All of a sudden? Why? You need to see true love. Can you hear that? What is your name, Yang? Patrice the Adam. It's a wedding ceremony for goodness sake. Silent! <laughs> it's her fit to make the death in my head. With your original production entitled In the Name of Love, brace yourself for the last but never the least performance that will take your breath away. Let's travel to another world brought by Daria1721. Dear Wa, the kings want to talk with you about something important. Sure, hopefully it is important. Dear Wa, you must go to us. What? All of a sudden? Why? You need to see true love. I have other things that can make me happy other than finding true love, father. Not your choice. I must send you to Earth, no matter what.
have here? What a handsome young man. Don't touch him. He looks like a scared puppy. Are you perhaps lost, young man? What's your name? Dewa Kayangan. You can call me Dewa. Let us help you. Accept that compliment. And humble too. What if I ask you to be my other half? I will be honored. Great. Now, would you please introduce me to your parents? Sister, you won't believe the rumors that I've heard from the maids. What is it? Your lover boy. What's his name again? Dewa Kaya? Dewa Kangan? It's Dewa Kayangan. Ah, my prince charming that I'm so, so, so in love with. Mm, I don't know how to phrase it, but sister, he's... He's what? He's getting tired soon. What? You mean he's proposing to me? And... And you're passing the message to me? I think I should buy a wedding dress and get the maid to call the makeup lady. Um, uh, what, what, what about my hair? No, you delusional damsel. I'm saying that he's getting hit with someone else. What? Someone else? Who could that possibly be? It's Putri Saadong, or so I've heard. Well, it's not like I'm surprised. Rumor has it that she's a stunning woman. Stunning? Have you seen me? Why would they get married so suddenly? No, 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 no. He's mine. 
Oh dear God, I knew this would happen. Ah! Uh, get me the shopper now! Daring missus has the nerve to snatch him away from me. Sister, please don't make a scene. Not now, not here. It's a wedding ceremony for goodness sake. But he is supposed to be mine. Pardon me, but may I ask who are you? The guest told me that you are planning to cause some disturbance in my wedding. Who am I? Dear were, I didn't think it would be that easy for you to move on from me, to forget all the things we had? Late, my young. You're taking things too far. In fact, I can guarantee you are being delusional. The one I'm in love with is Puchi Saado. I'm sorry if I was leading you on, but my heart belongs to her. I am warning you, love. Listen, you can come with me like you promised, and the two of us can live happily everywhere, right? Sounds great, right? And you, Saado, Leave now, or you will regret every step that you take and every move that you make. You are twisting my words. We were just having conversations. I was being polite. I'm in love with Saado, not you. Silence! <laughs> Ma'am, I mean, Oleg Maya, please leave. I don't know you, and I want, I just want to go through our special day peacefully. If you can't leave, then we will go on try living and you'll see what's coming for you let's go dear no Prisado, you don't understand how powerful she is she's just threatening us there's nothing to worry about come on My love, what would you like to eat today? I mean, the best way to make your favorite laksa puteh. Oh my, I can't wait. Laksa puteh it is then. Just thinking about it makes my mouth drool. <laughs> You're so silly. Only for you. My silly. Your most commendable jester indeed. Wait. Something's not right. Are you alright? It's the baby. Hang in there for me. Help! Anyone, please! What's the matter? Is it with your wife? Or is it the baby? Yes, I think the baby is coming. Alright. Move aside for me, son. Come on, sweetheart. You're doing great, sweetheart. Come on. 
Here you go. Hello everyone, welcome to our world. She looks just like you. Her eyes, her lips. So beautiful. Unfortunately, she's got your nose though. Your big and round nose. Hey, some people will pay big amounts to have them, alright? <laughs> but haven't you too? <laughs> <laughs> oh look, what do we have here? Dewa, Sando, the house is so noisy. I thought someone died. <laughs> Please, let my leave us alone. Not that easy, love. Not that easy. It took me a lot of work to find the tour. Now, do us, Sima. Come to me and do no, it together. No, Lima Yang, you're out of your mind. Never. You? <coughs> <coughs> well, you know, you're my most trusted neighbor. Please, take her. But, 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 you leave. Now. Wait, what, what should I call her? Delima. Call her Selindang Delima. You're so precious, dear. Don't worry. I'll take care of you just as if you were mine. Mom, Mom, I was trying to... Maya, look. A new baby sister. A new baby sister? I am going to become an older brother? Yay! That's right. Please stop. Nina Delima, it's my end. Enough playing. Lunch is ready. Yay! Food! How was practice? It was great. I managed to bring down Ismail for a moment huh. just now. It was just pure luck. You didn't manage to defeat me fully. What do you mean? Hmm? I no, did. No, no, no. Stop it, both of you. It's not nice to bicker in front of food. Both of you need to keep practicing. I'm afraid one day, I will be there to protect you from danger. Mom, don't say that. Right, it's not nice. In front of food too. All right, all right, I get it. But if one day that ever happens, I will not know what to do with myself. I'm not sure I'd do anything without you. Then you'll have to protect, to defeat your enemies. Remember, you're stronger than you think. I'm so grateful and blessed to have the both of you. I love you two so much. Okay now, who finishes their food first can get extra time for practicing. Mm, game on! Game on. That was seriously one of a ride. Oh, it surely was. We should go on adventures like this more. I feel like I could climb a mountain. We just did it, Dilima. <laughs> Another one. <clears throat> Whatever you say, loser. Is my in? Delima, can you come here for a second? Let's go! Coming! <laughs> <laughs> it's my oh, hey, uh. Mom! What is it, Mom? 
we just got back from our leader adventure trip. It was one of our best time. Right, yes. Emma? I miss it already. That sounds wonderful. <coughs> Are you okay, Mom? I thought you were getting better. My loves, I need you to listen carefully to what I'm going to say. Do you understand? What? What's what's happening, Mom? I think my time is coming to an end, darlings. And I have an important task for the both of you. <coughs> Mom, you are scaring us. Please say that you're joking, right? This is very serious. Especially for you, Delima. Me? <coughs> yes. This is a little sudden. But the truth is, I am not your real mother. You were given to me by your parents when you were just a little baby. What? This can't be real. Why would they abandon me? Because your life was in great danger and they wanted to protect you. Your parents' names are Putri Saadom and Dewa Kayangan. Your mother, she was killed by the youngest Ulit Mayang and she took your father ever since. Here, take this and use it against that evil woman. Go and save your father, Dunima. This is all I can do to avenge Saadon's death. You want us to go and fight her? <coughs> yes. They live by the mountains where no one dares to go. She'll know you'll come. And you both must win. No matter what. <coughs> I love you both so much. Please, be careful. <coughs> Mom! 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 Mom, wake Mom, up! Wake Mom. Mom! Wake Mom. up, Mom! Mom! I heard the great one you know, is finally in her deathbed. Why do you look so scared, honey? Do you really think I wouldn't know that you hit your daughter with her? No way! How did you even know? Don't you dare lay a finger on her. My sweet Dewa, I don't have to go and end her. Instead, they will come to me. I don't know you, nor what you really want from me. But I'm sure, you're the one that we're searching for. <laughs> Hello, my long lost daughter. How nice of you to finally come, to, come back to me. Your, your slendang lima, is that really you? Yes, it's me, father. Enough! After years of you being under the care of Walinu, I don't stand a chance against her to finish you off. Now, shall we start the execution? <laughs> What are you doing to her? Don't you remember how I've already cast a spell on her? Even before she was brought to the world. It's her fate to make the death in my head. All because you refused to come with me. Mom! No! Yeah! Don't come near me! Dear what are you doing? 
me, not her. I guess this is the reason why you put me for hostage for years and won't let me meet my own daughter. I can slowly feel the curse of you put upon me slowly being lifted. I guess true love really is the most powerful weapon. <laughs> what? <coughs> What's happening? <coughs> the Lima! You were good friends and you were very kind to me, Ling Mayang. But enough is enough. Don't you dare forget where I come from. And what I can do! What was that? That's so cool, Dad. I mean, sir. I mean... Yes, my daughter. I get to gain my powers after the curse has been lifted. It's all thanks to the both of you. Us? Yes. In the name of love, I managed to break the curse. I'm glad I got to prove my love by sacrificing myself, but instead of dying, I gained my powers back. Although her power did hurt a little. How about you? Uh, are you still hurt? Do you still feel the pain? Well, I couldn't care less about myself, father. That was very reckless of you. You could have died. How can I continue living, knowing I just met my father for the first time and had less than 10 minutes to spend with him? I'm sorry, Delima, but I would do it again if I had to. I just love you so much. So much. But we're in a better place, right? Delima, we saved your father and we bring down that crazy woman, right? <laughs> <laughs> How are you able to have such strong power, Dad? Oh, honey, I'm not from here. The skies were my home and palace. So, will you go back there? It's fun up there with the servants and an easy life, but a life without my own family wouldn't be as, as fun, right? We don't live with us? Exactly, my daughter. You are my most wonderful blessing and my greatest power. What's your name, boy? Me? Oh, I'm Ismail. Ismail, my son. Come on, you two. Let's regain our relationship once again. Thanks, he went through a lot, but in the end, he deserved the greatest gift one could ever ask for. You're right. It may seem rough, but I'm glad he managed to achieve the goal I was setting him up for. May I know the reason why you sent him there? In the name of love of a father, to his son, of course. Love does not only come in a romantic way. It can be paternal, platonic, and it can also be the love for the things you like. Love for peace, life, and much more. My son, he was missing out on a life as he didn't understood love and how it could bring meaning to your life. How when once a man has a taste of love, he will work hard for it, to cherish and treasure it. I believe he already found the love that he needs in his life. Yes, I'm utterly joyful and proud of my son's achievement. I believe that even in the future, where it is uncertain or obstacles might have come in their way at any minute, I'm sure they can overcome it together.
What an amazing drama from our seniors, Darius. Thank you, Darius, for the performance. And that, ladies and gentlemen, marks the end of Tumpu Kusha College Visual English Drama Competition for this year. The voting process for Viewers' Choice Award will end up in four minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, now I'd like to invite our beloved and honourable principal, Puan Ruslina binti Abdul Aziz, to share a few words. Please welcome Puan Ruslina. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wa mursalin. Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. And a very good morning to everyone. As we all know, Interbatch English Drama Competition has been one of the most awaited events of the year in this college. This long-standing tradition has imprinted unforgettable memories and life lessons to the current students and old girls. They learn about teamwork, discipline, responsibilities, determination, and many other values which mold them into a person who could take on any challenges, especially in their studies and future career. We are currently facing a new challenge that we had never experienced before. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected various sectors, including education. Due to this, attention to new norms is crucial to minimize the impact. This year's English drama competition has proven that we could continue our annual activities even though they are obstacles ahead of us. Our students could act and even dance together without having to meet each other physically, thanks to the use of technology. Distance is no longer an excuse to stop us from continuing our college tradition. I would like to congratulate all badges for making this competition a success despite all the challenges that we are facing right now. I am sure that choosing the winner will be a difficult choice, as all the badges' performance are tremendous. But don't worry, all of you have done your best, gained valuable experience and lessons, thus all of you are the winners. Best wishes to all and thank you. Thank you very much, Bunde, for the wonderful speech. Audiences, we would like to inform you that the voting pool for the Viewers' Choice Awards has closed. Thank you to all who voted. Now, before we announce the results, we would like to acknowledge the importance of the judges who came by and adjudicate with wisdom to pick the winners for today's competition. For your information, the judges were given the recording of the drama before today's showcase and have put careful consideration on the marks given. Introducing the first judge of the day, her career as a freelance researcher and screenwriter began in 2005 and has since produced work for TV magazines, documentaries, telemovies, a drama series, a feature film, as well as museum displays, which include the award-winning series of Oh My English, among other accolades. Her short film, Janat Swami, written for Ikal Mayang, in an initiative in conjunction with International Women's Day 2013, was screened in Busan International Film Festival. Her works have been aired on most national television channels in Malaysia, as well as Singapore's Surya Channel, Disney Channel Asia, Bio Channel Asia, Nickelodeon Channel Asia, and History Channel Asia. Please uh, put your hands together for Miss Nick Jasmine Hume. Miss Nick Jasmine, please share with us some of your thoughts. Assalamualaikum and hi everybody. Congratulations on such great effort put into this drama competition. Overall, I think uh, we could see, all of us could see, and later perhaps, or earlier, I don't know when you're going to put the play up, but, uh, you know, how everyone have done uh, and how everyone have adapted what used to be on stage onto screen. Um, you know, in any competition, rules and regulations and criteria are important because this is an English drama competition. The English language is important. Um, it's also important that you play, um, you know, on screen, even though it's not stage, it's screen. You play as how it would be on stage. 
and uh, some of you did very well and I think uh, you deserve a plot for that um, even it went beyond my expectation you know because you 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 don't really know how well a play can be online until you do it and some of you have proven that you know it is possible to actually still have something that is a play on screen even though there's a fine line between you know a play and a um, uh, film on screen right so congratulations for doing that um you know at the end of the day stories are very important too story and ideas some of you may have adapted your story from something else so when you adapt a story from uh, another story your story from another story what we look for in your script or in your your creativity is something else well you know if you come up with an original story then of course you know we we look at it uh, differently also so it's important to actually have a good story and to have an idea that is um, out of the box most of the time uh, because it's good to be different it's good to be original it's good to be same but different because you want people to relate to your story but not um, tell the same story over and over again um, I think uh, some of you very interesting have displayed you know understanding of what the medium or the potential of the medium is you know uh, a story is a story why why do you tell a story so some of you grab this opportunity to talk about really important things and really current uh, issues and I I actually applaud you for that because you know you have actually used the medium really really well so once again congratulations to all I am actually very proud of you because I know some of you had actually joined our workshop and and I could see um, you know that you've you've adapted or you've used or you've you've learned uh, something from the workshops and and you know that keeps me happy and I hope this continues this drama competition continues and that you will continue to succeed all right bye Thank you, madam. Next up, let's hear it for our second judge of the day, Associate Professor Datu Arbaya Ali Tarmizi. She is an academic staff at the Department of English, Faculty of Modern Languages and Communication, University of Putra, Malaysia. With a love for theatre, she has taken on the roles of creative advisor, producer, assistant advisor of amateur play productions such as La Miserable 2013, Beauty and the Beast 2013, the Great Gatsby, 2014, and Chris Laksamana Bentan, 2018, in addition to a number of stagings of Shakespeare's plays prior to 2010. Keen to promote an interest in theatre to the wider public, she initiated and founded the Theatre for Life workshop UPM, which aims to engage the community in pre-staging activities as means to create awareness in social issues. Let's hear some comments from Madam Arbaya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I would like to thank the organizer for inviting me to be one of the judges for this competition. My special uh, gratitude goes to the teachers who have worked hard. I believe you have worked hard to make this happen, especially uh, Cikgu Fatah. And of course, not forgetting the students who participated in the contest. Well done to all. Um, to be honest, I have a tough time uh, judging the entries. Or maybe uh, judging is not the best word. I had fun watching the videos. Um, I can see that um, each and every one of you uh, has put a lot of effort to produce uh, the work. I can see your creativity in the um, storyline, uh, in your adaptation, in your characterization, 
and how you effectively utilize the online uh, platform. Good job. And even my students at the university uh, uh, are not able uh, to uh, uh, do this uh, as as good as what you have as what I have witnessed in your videos, and of course, uh, having said all that, there are still room for improvement, um, especially in how you uh, adapted a certain story from the original work. Um, time limitation, uh, characterization. Uh, as well as enhancing the moral values, which are the core uh, requirement in this uh, competition. Anyway, uh, I have nothing else to say except for uh, kudos for uh, pulling this through. I know this is uh, hard, but you have proven that despite the limitation working within uh, the virtual box, Despite the limitation, having to work within the confines of your own home, uh, you have uh, proven that uh, this can be done. Uh, all the best. Uh, good luck to all winners. And of course, um, uh, stay safe and stay sane. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Madam Arbaya, for the insightful comments. Hold your breath for the third and last judge of the day who has contributed to Malaysian arts for over 40 years. She is an artist extraordinaire who does not limit herself to any particular form of art. Over the years, she has been active in visual arts, theatre, television and films, taking up various important roles such as scriptwriter, acting coach, art director, producer, director and other roles in performing arts. She is also an established visual artist. Her paintings, photographs, and installations are often exhibited locally and also internationally. Please uh, give it up for uh, Miss Norma Nordin. Now I invite Miss Norma to give some comments. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum, girls. Wow, I was pleasantly surprised what you did in those all those five production. Wow, it's not it's not an easy thing to do because you have to put a live performance and using the, the limitation of the technicalities, that's awesome. Not only the talent that was good, I can see there's a lot of work and effort put together. I hope you treasure this experience because this will not come again. This together experience, I hope it is just the beginning of the bigger things. I've enjoyed, I really, really have enjoyed, I think all the judges enjoyed it. Um, and I think you have learned many things about yourself, about being a player in a, in, a, in a team, because it shows in the production. It is in the process of arrival that you will enjoy, and I bet you, you will treasure this experience. All I have to say is that good luck, all the best. I believe there is a great future in all whatever you are going to endeavor. I'm Norma Nordin. I was one of the judges. Thank you for sharing. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Ms. Norma, for the insightful comments. Uh, dearest audiences, without the judges' commitments and wise decisions, we will not get the winner for today's competition. So again, thank you to all three of them. Now we have come to the final stage of this competition. The results are already here. There are 13 awards to be given today, and here are the, reward, the awards. Excuse me.
Without wasting any more time, we would like to announce the winners for today's competition. Let's start with the Special Jury Award. This award is given at the discretion of the judges to a team that explores themes that are closely related to our current situation. The performance and dynamics deserve recognition, yet the team does not fit into any other existing award categories. For their courage to explore a theme that no other teams had, the Jury Award is presented to Freshies 2125. Congratulations, Freshies. Moving on to the second award, the Viewers' Choice Award. This award comes down to the viewers and which team managed to capture the hearts of our audiences. Presenting the Viewers' Choice Award goes to Estelle 1923. Congratulations Estelle for the win. The third award is judged by the English language panels and it is based on the production skills on audio, editing, use of language, content, and the use of media. So, the best promotional video award goes to In the Name of Love from Darius 1721. Congratulations, Darius, for the award. All right, on to the next one. We've seen quite a lot of special effects, haven't we, Aina? Yes, we have. Um, shall we see which batch has the best special effect? Uh, and we shall. The award for the best special effect goes to the picture of Dorothy Gray performed by Estelle 1923. Congratulations, Estelle, for the award. Lydia, um, don't you think that we have some outstanding singing voices from today's performances? Uh, I definitely agree. Actually, I have someone in mind and her voice is heavenly. And of course, same goes to me. But do the judges think the same? So, the best singing performance goes to In the Name of Love performed by Darius1721. Congratulations, Darius, for the award. Next up is the Best Performers Award. Only one performer from each competing batch is chosen. Let's start with the Freshies. So, the Best Performer Award from Freshies 2125 goes to Tia Patricia. Congratulations, Tia, for being the performer for your batch. Next, the best performer from the sophomores 2024 goes to Anna Natasha. Congratulations, Anna, for the award. And now, who will win the Best Performer Award from Estelle 1923? Let's give it up to Dia Kistina. Congratulations, Dia, for the award.
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I wonder who will win the best performer from Italia 1822. I have someone in mind. The best performer from Italia 1822 goes to Chu performed by Adriana Sofia. Congratulations, Adriana, for the award. From our beloved seniors, Darius 1721, the best performer award goes to Delima played by Nurul Umaira Mokris. Congratulations, Umaira. I know talent when I see it. The best overall performer goes to Coraline performed by Anna Natasha. Congratulations, Anna, for the award. Let's move on to the next award, which is the Best Script Award. The Best Script Award goes to Grandpa's Diary by Eftalia1822. Congratulations, Eftalia. On the next award, who will grab the title of the Best Director? Will it be from our juniors or will it be from the seniors? Let's give it up to Maria Azmir Faisal from Batch Estelle 1923. Congratulations, Maria, for the Best Director Award. And who will be awarded for the Best Junior Play? Maybe a freshie, sophomore, or Estelle. The Best Junior Play goes to The picture of Dorothy Gray by Estelle 1923. Congratulations, Estelle, for the award. Moving on to the best senior play. This is hard to guess. Grandpa's Diary or In the Name of Love? The best senior play goes to... Grandpa's Diary by Aftalia, 1822. Congratulations, Grandpa's Diary, for the best senior play. And now, it is the time to announce the first runner-up. Only second to best, the first runner-up goes to... Grandpa's Diary by Aftalia, 1822. Congratulations, Aftalia, as the first runner-up. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the final award, the champion of this competition. Who do you think will win this? Well, the champion of the virtual English drama competition 2021 goes to The Picture of Dorothy Gray by Estelle 1923. Congratulations to Estelle for being the first batch to win the virtual English drama competition. With that, this marks the end of our event. Congratulations to all batches. You are all winners. A round of applause to all the performances. These are extraordinary times for our event. We faced a range of challenges to bring this event together and we succeeded due to the devotion and hard work of each and every participant. So hats off to you guys. For everyone here this evening, it's a very special occasion and we're delighted to share it with you. Soon, our beloved seniors batch Darius 1721 will sit for their SPM examination and graduate. So this is going to be our last event with them. May this be a beautiful memory for us all. That's all from us. Thank you all for coming and we hope to see you soon in the next English drama competition. See you soon and stay safe.